Hi Capricorn, Araya here. I hope you guys are well this morning. If you're new, my, new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Narai. I go by Nay. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for the support. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South nodes. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest as some of this may or may not resonate with you. Um, so I, I'm going to make this a quick reading because I have three more to do. Um, and my work shift is starting soon. I, I'm kind of running behind this morning. But I will say that this morning... When <laughs> I don't even know why I was singing this, but this morning when I was in the shower, I was singing Why Do Fools Fall in Love? And I don't even know the whole song. Like, I know the chorus and bits and pieces. And something just popped into my head. And it was... Some people are attracted to whoever likes them. So it's like... When a person's like, oh gosh, I like you or I'm interested, or so-and-so likes you and so-and-so's interested, all of a sudden that person becomes interested in that person. So it's like, it was almost like it was making me think that people don't even ask themselves why do they like someone or why did they fall in love with someone to be sure that that's how they really feel I think sometimes people fall in love with the idea or the idea of what they could have with someone that they're in love with that and it's attached to a particular person so they feel and believe that they are in love with that person but they're not that's why sometimes you can see somebody with somebody else or somebody with one person and then before long they're in love with somebody else. It's because they're, they may possibly not really be in love with the individual. They're in love with the idea. And I do believe there is a such thing as transference. Like I believe you can, a person can be in love and meet somebody new and then all of a sudden think they're in love with that person because they're taking all their expectations they set for themselves their fantasies they created for themselves and attach it to a whole new body so this is about when you actually meet someone and have feelings first of all why do you like that person do you genuinely like that person or do you like that the person liked you first it may sound stupid but this shit happens like in real life this stuff happens and then the other question and it's coming out with the cards the answers one moment I need to split them because I see the cards is are you really getting what you want out of the relationship with the six of pentacles is it an equal give and take or are you making it appear to be one when it's really not and are you truly happy if this person is treating you a certain way now, if you should get married or have a more serious relationship and the person gets more comfortable and does even less than what they're doing in the impressing stage is what I'm going to call it, the representative stage, will you be happy with that relationship? It's just something to think about. All right, spirit. I've wasted four minutes of Capricorn's lives. <laughs> so the first, the first card I have is the page. When you are interested in someone, is that person mature? Is that person immature? How do they handle problems? How do they treat you in front of other people? How do they treat you behind closed doors? Because sometimes people can treat you well in front of other people because it's all about how the, what the appearance is. 
And then there are people, and, and I've experienced this, that will ex embarrass you in front of other people for attention. Um, does this person have a leg to stand on? Is this person grounded? This is a pentacles card. I feel like this person is not grounded because they're not standing on two feet. And this person, and I, it, what just popped up in my head is not, this person could possibly not be a person of their word. I think this reading is starting off, especially with what I stated before, like what came to me this morning of like what to be mindful of when it comes to you and your relationships. Sorry, I just got ringing in my ear. It's like I heard a bunch of noise, a, a bunch of static in both of my ears, and then I just heard high hissing. Because my air conditioner is off, and it just sounded like my air conditioner was on and turned off. Whoa. <laughs> I'm having a morning, people. This card is... Two of Swords. When you enter a new union or a new phase of life or a new interest comes into your into your energy, and I say into your spirit, you may feel that you're in the Two of Swords energy. And for some of you, I feel that you may be dealing with the situation now, like you're dealing with somebody. Um, that doesn't have a pot to piss in, a leg to stand on. This person does not honor their word. This person may be in, um, immature at times. This person may not be financially stable. That's what that looks like. And when I see this, I feel like there's confusion too. Not just you trying to make a decision that's really hard, but some sense of confusion. With what I'm looking at on her arm, because she has a tattoo, it's almost like, which way do, yeah. It's the arrows, but it's like a seesaw. It's like you're teeter-tottering between a decision and you're stuck. Because, of course, this is being at a crossroads, not knowing what direction to go into. But I feel like there's something you may not see. And then I have the King of Cups. I'm going to tell you, this is about getting grounded in your emotions with whatever you're dealing with right now. Um, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship at this time. This could be something else. Um, but I feel like there's something that... You're possibly thinking about, um, and you could be sitting on making a decision because you feel it's not time. I feel like for some of you, this is saying to sit on something like think about your feelings just a little more. But this is about being mature in regards to your feelings. And for some of you, if you are dealing with somebody and you're kind of torn as to which way to go, and you have the fear of being alone. I will say there are more fish out there in the sea. The whole world doesn't revolve around this one person that you created this life with in your mind, if that is the case. But there's somebody out there that is going to be more stable and more grounded and have the ability to build something with you instead of Selling you a freaking pipe ass dream, you know? Keep going. Messages and guidance. Some of you are staying in a situation, whether it's a job or a person, um, for fear of missing out. You can't miss out on something that's absent. We never miss out on something that's not there. We never miss out on a person that's not mentally and emotionally there. We never miss out on a job that is making us unhappy. Typically, people stay because they have bills that need to get paid. But guess what? 
there are options out there for you. But you just have to take your time and apply or take your time and meet new people and not rush into things. Don't jump at the first thing. And I'm, I'm hearing so many people jump at the first opportunity, whether it's a person that's interested in them. Like people, people go through the healing process after relationships and they may be single for years and think it's amazing. But it's not amazing if you jump into the first thing that comes to you because you want a relationship, but you're not really taking the time to see if this person is even deserving of being in your energy or if that's what you really like. What is this? So something's going to happen. This is about having boundaries, but I feel like this is about something coming in fast too. There may be something coming in fast and you are going to have to make a decision with the seven of cups but i say don't allow any anyone to rush you uh, when it comes to a relationship i feel like when people are rushed into relationships it's like a car salesman or an insurance salesman on tv they just want the money so it's like there's an agenda everything's not out in the open as far as what their true intentions are You don't want to rush because if you rush later on, you end up having regrets about the decision that you made. It's about taking your time. I think this is coming out because of all the love readings that have been coming for Capricorn. Yep. This is about having faith, trusting the universe. Continuing your healing, even if you meet somebody. Um, I always see all eyes on me, or hear all eyes on me when I see the star card now. I don't know why. Um, but this is still being optimistic and... Wishing on stars when you see them, having dreams, daydreaming, having all that good stuff in your life. Um, but also being mature enough to pay attention to the red flags, to take your time, to not allow anybody to rush you. Because if you don't take your time and you're not cautious and um, you tell a person, hey, don't rush me, I'm not ready for this right now. You end up putting yourself in another tower moment. And I think a lot of us have had enough tower moments we could do without for a while, especially when it comes to love in matters of the heart. <laughs> Somebody romantic. Somebody romantic. Somebody has got their own style and their own way of doing things. This person may be a little different. But don't allow them to rush you. And just because somebody spends money on you, ladies, doesn't mean you have to give them anything. Just because somebody does something nice for you does not mean you owe them anything. It, poetry. When you feel pressured, it may be time to tell a person, I, I just need a little bit of space. And don't be afraid to go into hermit mode. Don't completely shut a person out if you need to think about things. Go into hermit mode. I think this is letting me know a lot of you are still there. Be funny. The death guard, a rebirth. A lot of you are still in hermit mode because you're going through a rebirth. And I think a lot of you know this. Especially if you felt like... Um, if you felt like you were going through a major depression. And you don't know where those feelings come from. You're probably going through a dark night of the soul. 
Yeah, I think a lot of you are because you're confused and you're like, I don't know what's going on. Um, but this is also about secrets. You want to be sure that there's clear communication when you meet someone. And that if you're left in the dark, having to try to figure things out for yourself, and the person won't communicate with you, then I think the person's not there. And I know in one of my readings, I was talking about like, um, being open and a person was like, well, Capricorn men, I don't care about man or woman. If you care about somebody, you should be able to let them know. Or if you're involved with somebody and they care about you, it should show and they, it should, it should be known. You should feel that. And if you don't, I feel regardless of the other person's situation, you don't need to put your life on hold waiting for somebody to figure out what the hell they want or how the hell they feel. If somebody puts you on pause, it's like putting you on the back burner. Why are you being put on the back burner, number one? That was already an issue in yesterday's reading. But it's about you knowing what you want and you, what you deserve. And if you don't get it, moving away from that. The Queen of Cups can talk about her feelings. We already pulled the, the King. The Queen of Cups can talk about her feelings. She is caring. And Capricorns can c continue to be caring, but Capricorns are not going to just sit there and give all this love and not receive anything in return. This is about standing your ground and speaking, um, speaking about the things that you're not okay with. If something happens that makes you uncomfortable, you let a person know that you're not comfortable or feeling this. If they care, they will converse... Uh, converse about it. They will have this discussion with you um, and they will fix it if it's fixable. An apology is not just saying I'm sorry. An apology is fixing things. Ooh, this reading. I don't, I don't like this reading, guys. I don't like this reading. <laughs> started off one way and it's going somewhere else. But I think this is more of a warning. Now, watch out for immaturity. Emotional immaturity. And then I have um, the Nine of Pentacles. This is you guys being independent, financially self-reliant. This is you not... Depending on anyone, this is also you. It's kind of, for me, it's kind of like living uh, the best life. Because you have everything that you need. Needs are the necessities. Wants are the other things. But this is something coming in pretty fast. Um, you may be required to have willpower. Hmm. But this is you also knowing when to walk away from something that's not serving you or that doesn't feel emotionally fulfilling. This is you putting yourself first and celebrating yourself and not sitting and, and settling for somebody that doesn't treat you well. But this is also about you having confidence and remaining confident. And being that social butterfly. Hmm. This is you seeing things from another perspective. I think this came out. Um, oh no, that was another sign. This is you thinking, uh, seeing things from a different perspective with the Ace of Swords. But this is also you having a realization I feel like this is you thinking differently having an epiphany but your luck will your luck will change with that oh wow I think that was in Sagitt 
I think that was in Sagittarius's reading last night um, about seeing things from a different perspective and luck changing. But I think the luck was changing for you guys yesterday in your reading. I'm not sure. Your luck will change. I just heard a major change of events. You'll start noticing the positive more in your life if you see things from a different perspective and also it may be uncomfortable to stand up for yourself or to walk away from people but my whole thing is and I'm gonna curse fuck FOMO FOMO is the fear of missing out because a lot of you have experienced somebody that left you hanging because they have options and they have that fear of missing out. And so that some people's lives revolve around FOMO. They're never happy. I think falling in love is having is meeting somebody. And that's funny. The next card is happiness. The sun card, the happiest card in the deck. This is that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. I feel like this is you guys being content with how things are in your life. And if you're not now, you can be. But I think the worst thing for a person to do is to make their happiness rely and dependent on somebody else. We have to be happy within ourselves first before we can be happy with another person. And back to FOMO, fear of missing out. I feel that when you love somebody, I feel like, I honestly feel like it's a choice. I feel like we, I feel like we, we feel these feelings for people. But the reason I say it's a choice is because I feel we make a con and I could be wrong, but I feel we make a conscious decision that we love someone and this is who we want to be with. But be sure that those are actually your feelings and you're not actually falling for somebody because they have interest in you. The problem with FOMO is you have this person that thinks, oh, I can do better. If you're never satisfied with what you have, not even yourself, you're always going to think you can do better and you're always going to be moving on to something else and you're never going to settle down. Um, but I think that we decide who we love. We choose sometimes who we love. Sometimes we fall. Sometimes we don't have control of our hearts and we fall for somebody. But I think with Capricorn, the problem is how much time and energy we invest into somebody. And a lot of times they're not investing the same into us. So if we mirror and match that energy and give as much as we are getting, I think number one, we won't fall so deeply in love and become obsessed. And that we'll know if this is a person that's for us. We'll know if this person fits in to our lives and can add 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 to our happiness because they should not be the source of our happiness if somebody is the source of your happiness they have the power to destroy you because you are putting it in their hands and there are some people that go around looking for people that will do that so they can drain and suck the life out of them and also their finances okay so that's all I'm saying. But when it comes to um, a romantic relationship, just be mindful of if you are having feelings for this person because you genuinely like them and have feelings. Or if you have discovered, because you may, that you're a person that likes whoever you hear likes you. Because there are people that do that and they don't realize that that's what they do. 
they're interested in people that are interested in them in them and it's almost like oh so and so likes me and then all of a sudden you're looking and you're like oh so and so is so attractive how come I never noticed this before but are you genuinely interested in that person or are you transferring all of your fantasies and your expectations of this happy wonderful fairy tale love story to somebody new this was a lot I'm so sorry this kind of got a little heavy for me but I still feel like a lot of you are going through a rebirth. And um, I feel like there will be a decision that you'll have to make and something may come in fast. Um, and also you need to see things from a different perspective. But stay grounded. I will say get to know yourself more. For some of you, get to know yourself more and understand what it is that makes you like people. Are attracted to certain people are you attracted to them or is it because people are reaching out to you and all of a sudden you're interested just because they're interested I think that's most people and it may sound stupid that I'm saying that because people meet people all the day all the time and they get to know each other but a, a lot of us if we think about it we should have known from the very beginning just not to mess with certain people um, because the interest in us was not enough and we should have seen that from the very start. So I'm leaving that there. I thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel and video. And um, I hope this damn reading made sense to somebody because I feel like it was all over the place. But don't allow anybody to rush you and know you have options, but don't rush those options because you don't want to make a mistake. Every option is not a good option, okay? So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I love you guys, and until next time, bye.